What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's Thursday. That means it's Mac Tools Thursday. So let's take a look and see what Mac Daddy's got. You guys, come on. Almost the weekend. Almost. That's a good thing. We've just been swimming through the week this week. <laughs> no kidding. Well, I started strap a kayak to the top of the tool truck today just in case. Yep. Yeah. So. I know when I left yesterday morning to go to Chicago, or day before yesterday morning to go to Chicago, it was coming a flood. You couldn't see nothing. We got up above the clouds. It was beautiful up there. And then we landed in Chicago. It was beautiful weather for the two days we was there. And then come back, what does it do? It starts raining again. Yeah. I saw yesterday, uh, I don't know if WTVA posted or what, but supposedly this is the most rain we've ever had in the month of June by this time since like they started recording history. Yeah. I know there was some places it was showing they got over six inches. That's a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. I know New Albany was flooded, flooded, man. That creek you know, was going under 22. Holy cow. Oh. It looked like a river. What is that? Tallahatchie River over there? So. I guess it was, it was bad. Um, parts of Oxford had a bunch of flooding, too. Yep. So. What, you got a new plier bundle set? Yeah, that's in the flyer, I believe. Or it may just be something I had ordered to come in. I don't remember. Let me look. Nope, it's in the flyer. So that's a trade and upgrade deal. You trade in something worth 40 bucks and you can buy it for 109. Hmm. So. I done got so used to those Nipex, the. Uh, with the button. With the button. Yep. And those then, are good looking handles on those though. Boy, yeah. Standard wrench bundle again. Yeah. So you guys have been looking for that. It's three forty nine, and it goes from what a quarter up to an inch and a half quarter or something, or inch and a quarter. Yep. And then one of the other great buys that's in this deal is you buy the SAE stud pullers you get the metrics free nice 85 bucks too and we got plenty of them in stock so cool need a set let me know these are nice these clip pullers i just got those in those look really good for some of your smaller clips and stuff you ain't gonna break that plastic on them huh because <laughs> it ain't got none and uh like up here the small V groove like that, that's good for like weather stripping, Christmas tree push pins, and things yep. like that. So. Those are nice. Really nice. That's a great set right there. I like it way better than the plastic mm -hmm. kind. That, this is the stud pullers there. Metrics. So both sets are 80. You, you buy both four, sets for 84 dollars Wow. $44.50 a pair. It's cheap enough. Can't beat that. So, but we, we generally do that every year, every other year, and we sell the heck out of them when they do. Yeah. So, I got one of the multi one of the multimeters yeah, deals on the are truck. Those a good and, deal right there, too. I mean, the amp clamp's almost as much as the multimeter, mm. and you get the amp clamp for free. That's really nice. What about that one uh, that I gave you? We're just waiting on it to come back. Still, still waiting on it to come back. Yeah. Well, they take a long time, don't they? Well, I just, I mean, you know, whether they may be waiting on a part or whatever. So. All right. Well, somebody asked. Um, I think it was on last week's video or whatever. What's your number one selling tool on this truck? 
Like which one you sell more of than anything. I don't know if they're talking about excluding the sale stuff or during the sale stuff. Number one selling tool on the truck? Jeez. That's a hard question. Isn't it? it is. I mean, because you sell so much of everything, you know. Uh, I mean, most every, most all my customers have at least bought one of our 3H lock and flex head ratchets. Yeah. You know, almost everybody that I run. Mm-hmm. So. I figured the plier bundle when they put them, or the wrench bundle, like the metric wrench bundle would be a really good one. But. Yeah, I, I sell a lot of those, but, you know, that's one of those things that you only sell a bundle like that when it's on the sale yeah. you know now i mean d d during the rest of the year people still buy those wrenches but they won't buy all of them at one time well do you sell many of the uh knuckle saver brand or is it mostly the precision torque a lot of the precision torques and mainly for price yeah you know i mean you're going to pay dearly for your knuckle savers <laughs> that's true but they're nice they are but they are they're Pretty but salty. I mean, the precision torque over the knuckle savers, though, people like the angle of the open end head on it, you know, having a little extra arch to it versus your regular knuckle saver. And then also the, that offset, the offset on the boxing part of it. Yeah. People really love those wrenches. Well, I know we showed those RBRT bundle sets last week, and everybody's like, what's the part numbers? What's the part numbers? Because I guess they're wanting to order them, and Mac's website sucks. Well, you can't look up nothing on Max. They've redone our website. They just released last week. So if anybody's been frustrated with our old website, go check it out. They have dropped our new website, um, and it is. I know a after lot. we showed it, that was like three or four people asked about that part numbers for that set. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'll yeah. have to get it Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Um, can't tell you. But our website has drastically improved since they put the new one down. Uh, that's gonna be this one right here is the star and extractor set so smvxe 51 rbrt yep and then the master hex set is this one sxvh 40 rbrt so there you go now you know you don't have to wonder no more Man, y'all got the two-piece bundle scraper sets, too. Mm -hmm. Those are the best scrapers ever made right there, I think. If there's a part number. If you guys don't own a set of these, y'all better get a set of these. And I got three or four sets left. If you buy that, you get a free air blower with it. There you go. You buy this, you get a free air blower. It's even better. But these are the best scrapers. You don't cut yourself with them and they will clean off gasket material or silicon or anything like that. Like them things, they work. And you get a free air blower, so good enough. Well, I know you ordered my RBRT bit and got it in for my Jeep doors. Yep. Cause that's the last damn thing I want to strip out is them nuts on my Jeep doors. So I ordered, he, he ordered me an RBRT bit just to leave in the Jeep just for that purpose. That way I don't ever have to take it out. I'm going to leave it in the back, you know, where the spare tire, where you put the nuts. I'm just going to leave it in there. Because if I use it the first time, I don't ever have to worry about stripping them out. Absolutely. And they've never been taken off. So I figure they're going to be pretty tight to get off the first time because anybody that owns jeep will know how big of a booger bear all those torx fasteners are on them and if you own a jeep and you don't own a set of rbrt torx bits you're missing out what i'm gonna do is just leave i'm gonna build me a kit just for that that way i can take all of the stuff off i'm gonna have rat like i don't want to, have to walk back to the toolbox or anything i'll have ratchets everything i need in there yep. to take all the stuff off and put it back on that way it's done. All I gotta do is go have fun. That's it. Me and Michael was talking about one of the struggles with a Jeep. If you own a Jeep, you know what I'm talking about. Like, 
the problem is like I don't advocate drinking and driving let me throw that out there that is a no-no you don't do that what you got to do you got to be talented like me and Michael and marry a girl that can drive the Jeep while you drink the beer Absolutely. Like, that's the way you do it right so my only downfall of saying you have to get out and open that back hatch if you got a big old Yeti full of beer so I've, I've got a little project in store that I'm going to do just for the guys that like to drink beer and sit on the passenger side of a Jeep. That way, uh, I think it's kind of cool. So, me and Michael was kind of discussing options on uh, how to make that a little more pleasurable experience than having to open the spare tire holder and then open the back hatch, all that. So, I might put that on a video. And show it in use, like that would be a good. There you uh, go. That would be a good demo. Like you may have to break your Jeep out. So, so uh oh, knocking RBRT bits off. May have to put that on. We may have to get you to break your Jeep out, and we'll go and put this to a full test. There we, we can do that to make sure it's going to work properly. Just waiting to get mine back, and it'll be ready to go. So that's my bit. But what we have to do is. is me and Mac Daddy show you guys how to sit on the passenger side and have a good day. Spend a whole lot of gas. <laughs> well, what other new cool stuff you got? I got, we just did a big tool fair order, so we got a bunch of stuff coming in. Um, more or less just trying to Wait on everything to come in, stock back up from everything that got bought up during the event. So. I got to get it with Justin. I know he's wanting to get another one of those meters from me. I think he talked to get the meter. Okay. Uh, this is how awesome my dealer is. Instead of selling in the meter the day of the meter, the guy lives here local. He said, if you'll wait, I think it was like two weeks, wasn't it? If you'll wait two weeks, that meter will be on sale and save you a whole lot of money and get your amp plan. So he could have he could have just sold him the meter, like most guys would, but they took care of him. So, and I know he said, "Man, I really appreciate him doing that. Like you earned a lot of trust with that guy that day because he's like, man, he's awesome." I'm like, yeah, I "Told you." Well, my customers take care of me. I try to take care of them. So, so yeah, you know, so if you aren't in a dire need and it's coming up on a sale, if you can wait a week or two, you mm -hmm. know, that's what he said. He's like, "Man, I." And it was a, you know, it's a different amp clamp this year than the one that they had last year. So he was happy because they'll have two different kind of amp clamps. So he's tickled to death. So. But I need to get up with him and that way he can get that meter and that'll be that. But all right, guys. Well, I got a Napa order coming and I got a bunch of junk I need to do. And I'm going to pay Michael on my stuff that he ordered. And we're going to get in here and get to work. Y'all have a great rest of your week. And hopefully you got a fun weekend planned. And maybe it won't rain here so we can have a fun weekend. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, it's real simple. You take your finger and you press that button. You guys have a great week. Catch you next time.